We're heading back to the core. My time with the temporary battle group seems to be coming to an end. Not two hours after leaving the fleet, orders were cut from the commander of the Billbringing Shipyard to have their fleet returned to his possession. It's not surprising. I was using a singular Imperial regulation to acquire a battle group and extend its time under my command. So with my meeting in the core, I have to wonder, how will the ISB respond to my actions? Most likely, they'll debrief me for what I know about this new player operating in the North, a criminal enterprise who can field a ship as large as a Providence, make its way all the way into the core unmolested by Imperial security, and then operate alongside a large industrial operation mass producing illegal droids in the deep core. That's no small task. They'll get the information they want and then cut me loose. Back to wallow away as a diplomatic commander, shuttling around aboard this aging Arquintance, a reminder of my former statue with the Republic decaying around me. No, the debrief is key. I've successfully uncovered what I believe to be a fraction of the mysterious organization's efforts to undermine the Empire. And I am well aware of the rumors the Empire has declared martial law in Mon Mothma's homeworld. Unrest is brewing in the core. The need for effective commanders is desperate. Not bought in whelps earning commissions through credits. I can use this. I have to sell them on the need to pursue these leads. Make me seem invaluable to the task while also completely disinterested. I'll make it clear my plans to retire. I'll make a purchase of a piece of property on Naboo, a lake house my brother was so fond of. It'll be perfect. My credits are good for it. It'll take almost everything I have. The fools will surely see this as my plan to retire, live a life of leisure, and they'll make said retirement impossible. It'll give them the leverage they need. It'll make it their idea. Perfect. The trap is set. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shaq here, and welcome back to Empire or Forces of Corruption. Let's take a look at the galaxy map. Wait for it. Wait, wait, there it goes. There it goes. That first unpause always kind of lags up, but welcome back to Forces of Corruption, playing the fantastic mod Awakening of the Rebellion. I'll put a link in the description if you're looking for the mod, wonderful mod. We are continuing to lead the Empire, hopefully to victory, securing the deep core and the core worlds. Uh, looks like we're looking at Anshin, the end of the Namati Corridor. Oh, uh, look at the gigantic Big Chungus map. Codenamed. Not anymore, though. It's officially out. It is just the big map now. Tactical you can even see... Imminent. Oh, no! You can even see the Hyperlands. So, in the last episode and the episode before that, we've been seeing a little bit of raiding action. This, though, not a raid. It's actually... Um, <laughs> really? Iblis is invading with... Five platoons, security force, heavy platoon, and a Mimbanese freedom fighter platoons. What are they up to? These are new. Uh, these came out with this version. There's a lot of civilian or or uh, local forces now that you can train up. Uh, freedom fighters want to be free from their home world of oppression from the Empire. And they achieve this goal. They've joined the Rebel Alliance. Uh, it doesn't tell us what weapons they have. Their role is rangers. And they have the spread out ability. Reduces movement speed. So they have the cover ability, basically. So their class role is Ranger. What does that mean? I imagine it's some kind of... Let's go ahead and be in the battle. Our forces are literally like... Oh, we get a Juggernaut. We get a Juggernaut. We get one platoon. I don't think the mines give us any kind of garrison. You know what would be neat with the mines? Would be some kind of like... Imperial mining... Oh, man, they could really go ham with that if they wanted to. They could represent the mining guilds for the Empire. Because they're subsidized industry by the Empire. So maybe they get, like... I know they're in the game somewhere. Let me turn the volume down a little bit for the music. I know they're in the game somewhere. Yes, sir. All right, we're on the clock here. Yes, if I can sir. see what's going on. There's our Jump Juggernaut. Ready. Ready to There's go. our walkers. Uh, this is a world... Oh, man, I should have moved our forces. I didn't realize they were so far away. Let's start moving you guys back. Roger that. There's a unit here. You're going to be super useful. The real question is where are they going to come from? They're probably going to come straight from the middle, right? So let's put the Juggernaut here. Let's run you guys back as quickly as we can. Uh, just in case, I'll put a squad here and pick up an anti-infantry turret that I don't think we're going to need it here. We were trying to save up for an ISD to fatten up our fleet a bit. You say that, but I sure as heck don't see them. Infantry turret, you guys keep running, keep running, keep running. 
I don't think I'm going to need you in there. Our walkers have arrived. I really want to get these turrets online and take this bunker. Up, oh, up, oh, hit it, it. Never mind. We'll send one squad to secure this. And we are going to engage. Uh, let me guess. There's a local forces, right? Yeah, there are local forces. Okay. We might leave a suppression team here or pick up two more turrets. How are we doing? Where's our squad? Well, we need to lock this down quick. Those are not... We can take that out. We can take that out. We have ATPTs. Get over here and cover them. Let's grab some anti-infantry turrets. I need you guys surviving as long as you can. Actually, just, just get in the bunker. All right, we're engaged. Are these the... These are the sec forces with rockets. This is like the worst unit to be engaging right now. Let's get them suppressed. Hopefully they fire at the juggernaut. Incoming rockets. The suppression. All right, that's like a whole squad wiped out. Nice. We are oddly well equipped to deal with this problem. The rebels with the Z6 showing up. Oh, they're militia. These were trained on the liberation. But we're in a bunker, so yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that. I'll send the pod walkers over to start harassing the other unit we know is back here. We don't want them to pick up any of these turrets. That's our biggest issue. I'm going to bring up... Come on up here. I'm going to have you head back. Let's secure this defense turrets. That way they're here if we ever get engaged again. Uh... Yeah, we've got turrets. You're gone. You're done. Is it the last guy? Run, Steve! Run! The pod walkers are shelling him. It's like an episode of Rebels where they can't hit anything and there's explosions like 10 feet from every, from every main character, but nobody ever gets hit. Let's go. I give him crap, but honestly, you kind of expect it. Ah, oh, look at that. All right, we won it. They're falling back. He has to pass them, too. So, the enemy has been dealt with. Five platoons. We never saw the militia. Oh, they managed to escape. I want to I wanna dig in here. Because this is the rebel front line. Uh, oh, you know what we can do? If I can catch Iblis out of position, I, I doubt I can, but the idea that we might be able to kill Iblis here, I'm going to go for it. Jumping to sector. Jumping to sector. Before that happens, though, we're about to get 9,000 credits. And I am going to do something that people have been... Was it... Yeah, it was. Aragu. Uh, I'm going to pick up some ISB agents to remove corruption. Firing. Which is Firing. fairly on point for the intro for this episode. Uh, Shed is trying to weasel his way into the ISB's good graces. I love that. I love that idea that he is playing the game... Uh, our troops are on the way. We're saving up money for another ISD. And then I think we're going to go back into economic investment, which is what we've kind of been doing while we've been securing the core. Uh, oh, Vader. Vader was put into position in orbit of this world, and we're pretty much ready for the actual invasion. Right. They've got an independent forces base. They've got some SP9s, uh, which were the... <laughs> Which were the tanks that just have like the rebel turret topper on them. So we need to load up our Trendrilla forces. Let's turn on all the things. We didn't turn on all the things. Not a good way to start the game. I was distracted by that invasion. Yeah, we didn't even get an outpost here. Oh, it's super expensive. What's this producing money-wise? 256? Yeah, you're going to be a money a money generator. Let's go ahead and grab this. Building under construction. And I will leave you a number of regulars. Tactical battle imminent. We get the battle. I will leave them a number of regulars so that we can pick up turrets and whatnot if we actually get attacked. We get raided. We do have to worry about that a little bit from the rebellion. All right, Venator. One of my few Venators. I am hoping to rendezvous. Destroyer standing by. Go ahead and fast forward. Actually, let me get a, let me just get a shot of this because it looks so good. Gorgeous as it launches its V wings and its arcs. All right, arcs. Close your S foils. Go scout. 
<laughs> we were talking about this is a recent uh a recent conversation on the discord we were talking about youtube and clickbaity thumbnails and the i've given him shit for years now about it um jokingly about the king of clickbaity star wars thumbnails has to be Eck, right eckhart's ladder they're so bad like years of red arrows pointing to nothing <laughs> And like, this is why the thing you love is bullshit. And one of them, I haven't watched the video yet because we were just talking about it. And then it popped up in my feed. It was an old video of his about the ARC 170. Ah, loud music. The ARC 170. And it was basically like, why this starfighter is trash. Uh, which apparently the video, he never says it's trash, but the thumbnail, it's totally just clickbait bullshit. I love the ARC. I think it's a great fighter. It's a little over crude, and I've said, like, you never want to want a dogfight in it because it's massive. The silhouette's huge. But as this big, this big honking long range, we have enemy contact. Looks like cloak shapes in R41s. But this long range, great sensor, Ready you're sending order. it out we're to the, you know, the some enemy. star system in the middle of nowhere to find out. Okay, we have contact. So it is Iblis, and he still has his battle group of dreadnoughts that's why Iblis is such a cool hero to have show up and they do have a lot of firepower there uh literally everything else we have i don't think can win a direct engagement you guys go ahead and engage those z95s ready sir and you don't move forward hold your position let's get you a carrier let's get you more firepower and then I want you in the back not being engaged and let's get some cover for the R41s. Arcs, you're doing great. You're doing great. Hell, I'll even have you go in. They got the back turret on there, you know, and the fact that they're a three person crew. I always like this idea. They're a long ranged fighter, right? They're a long range scout, basically. Hence the recon portion. Uh, and one of the big negatives that, that people have said is like, oh, it's well, it's got a three man crew, right? Well, think about this in lore. If you're on a long range recon mission and you're gone for two days, long hours in a starfighter and this actually happens people in um air force pilots you know sitting in their in their in their c-130 literally flying for 24 hours straight uh this happens all the time this is why you've got multiple crews they have a, a, a second pilot they have a co-pilot they can just take over for a little while while the uh, the main pilot gets some shut eye i love that idea like it kind of it just fits with the mission profile all right let's go and one of my favorite things is when stuff makes sort of sense yes, come on, in the man. universe. Overheat the guns and let's give them the good news. Uh, we somehow engaged those Z95s, didn't lose the fight, but also didn't win it. They just both broke off. I'm really surprised that um, we're still like fighting this. All right, ties are moving in. Get them, tie fighters. Uh. I'm not actually sure we can win this. Let's overheat the guns and have the arcs go ahead and engage. And let's get you overloading your weapon systems as well. Heat him up. Heat him up. Oh no. Oh no. Is that our. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. I want you to switch fire to this guy and open up with your ions. There's the ion fire. We're gonna take out those shields nice and quick. Look at the broadsides on this thing. Now nah, go back. When they change this model, uh oh, I think we, we our ion ship got ioned. So that's gonna lower its output. It's still doing good work though. His shields are down, so all other forces continue your fire, bombard it. Actually, all other forces. Let's do a group select. Focus your fire on the hyperdrive so they cannot escape. Speaking of arcs, look at them go. I still need to open their S foils so they can hit a little bit harder, but. I love having a dedicated scout craft. That has a combat role as well, right? Uh, what is what are, what are you guys equipped with in here? I think you're pretty lore accurate too. Two heavy lasers, two light repeating lasers. You've got heavy lasers. I wonder how good you are at taking out um it says heavy fighter, but I wonder how good you are at taking out Corvettes. They did manage to get the shields on the Venator down. We need to rotate. All forces fire at the engines. See that no rebels escape the battle. We got it. 
Wonderful. That is a major victory for us. We just took down Iblis. Because him supporting a fleet is a bit scary. Now, I, I don't think he's on a timer. He might just be done. He might be like the liberation. Once it's gone, it's gone. Oh, uh, monies. We we invested, didn't we, in a, in generation instead of buying that ISD that I wanted. This is why I need to rendezvous with the rest of our ships, like down in Falene, uh, Eridus. Like we need to get you a route to get into the main um, the main regions. Also, a uh, Fondor is still cut off. That's another planet that I want to get access to, so we can move that other ISD with the rest of the fleet. Gamor, uh, Gorman, excuse me. That's Gorman. Where's Gamor? Mm, all right. Biss is defending the route into the, the core worlds. Though I could move you to Jakku. I think Biss is probably the better position. Yeah, because you're getting a goal, another golem platform. You are going to be my wall from the southern front. All right. Let's move our ground forces. Let's deal with this. And I'll pick up another just while I'm thinking about it. Okay, we already have a a, a, a pro droid on, on construction, and we've got some more income coming. So we can just unpause. Moving the ground forces. I wasn't going to move them all. Commander, both reporting. artillery pieces. Uh, I will take the support team because we don't have very many of them, surprisingly. Jindral is at 258. Let's see how high we can get that. There is something so dark about the idea that Mon Mothma's homeworld is being used Bad to generate credits seen. to support the Empire. And then transport. you need to be dealt with as well. You have no orbital forces. Security for deployment. Yeah, you're next on the list of, of planets to take. Right, and you have no orbit at all? Like no space station? No, no space station. Hmm. Security forces are prepared to land. You may begin. Oh, we do have more support units. Look at all of the... <laughs> Instruction complete. It's a little early. for. I feel like it's a little early for the IG-88 revolution, but... uh. It, it is the AI, so it's going to be able to generate some more credits. I, from what I understand, IG-88 is not the moneymaker. The huts are. But some of the best, like, high-tech units and a lot of the droid stuff, obviously, is going to come from the droid revolution. All right, we've landed. Uh, this is the perfect planet for some air support, so I'm going to bring that in. I want to see what they have. And they don't have much. Let's fly over and see that they don't secure that landing zone. Let's grab some ATSTs and a lot of regs. This is the regular army. Uh, we have a group of O balls. Kais, I need you. Report back here immediately. You poor support personnel kind of just got really. Wrecked. They're all dead. Our Night Sisters, right? No, Trandosian snipers. We have a location on Trandosian snipers. Let's bring in the artillery. They did kill our entire group there. Oh, get wrecked with grenades. Excuse me, where's my fourth? Do you only? Get... Oh, you only get three. Yeah. But the problem is this artillery. We have a location on where those snipers came from. Never mind. It looks like we already took them out. Don't let them take you out. Give it to him. Grenade barrage. Um, Moving out. The problem has been solved. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean the snipers killed one of my TIE fighters? Oh, look at this map. I misunderstood what this map is so by the by the by the mini map it looks like um what's the word we're gonna secure that middle ground let's go awaiting your orders let's go can we get an apc no so we're literally we're walking it okay uh, i thought this was that that long pit map that we're so used to but it's not it's this gorgeous like island map very very cool that's the officer, isn't it? Yes, Commander. Up front. Oh, it's it's not. Ready for oh, it is. It's a grenade troop. Okay. I can't believe I left arm go With the ATSD in the background, ready to support. I think we'll secure the middle. 
we'll get the scanner array and we'll get the no yeah we'll get the we'll get the Ooh, there's already a scanner array here so we'll secure it see if we can see where they're at and then just start shelling them uh, and there's their outpost there so we know they've got forces i should probably dispatch one unit to go secure this and see if there's anything else nearby what is this oh it's just a bunker okay what's this uh a defense turret and a beachside resort with a bantha Wait a minute. With a storm, with, <laughs> with a stormtrooper just like passed out, enjoying the rays. <laughs> uh, what's our route across? Just okay. We're doing, we're looking good. We're looking good. So I guess I guess I can set up like a turret here. I'm not gonna need this. I was gonna do a sensor array so we could get some artillery on it, but not really useful. Unnecessary. I await your instructions. Mm, I'm not gonna separate the officer from it. Wait, you have stormtroopers as a guard and a pilot? Whoa! So this is our this is our flight officer. It's a pilot. Sensor array is ours. We can see uh, decently around us. Let's do a ping. Ping gives us view of the whole map. I'm going to pause so we can see what we got going on. Uh, and it looks like they have decided to take over the right-hand side of the map. The majority of their forces are hanging out. I did read your guys' comments about, hey, Shaq, you should pick up some old uh, T TX-130s. Get some Saber Tanks. Get some Imperial Saber Tanks. Uh, and I very well might do that because they are cool with the beam weapons on the sides. Oh, what is this nonsense? A champion speeder. Royal Naboo Security Forces. Okay, we can unpause. We've got a large grouping of infantry heading north. Ready for battle. I need to make more TIE fighters. What are your orders? Go ahead and dig in. Ready for orders. I feel like the ATSTs could just head up north and deal with this problem for us. How often can we pop this? I'll make you group two. This group ones are ties. Um. Uh. I, yeah, I guess turret would be the best way to go. Turret constructing. For future engagements, and then like rush infantry up here to support it. Hey Ty, I want you checking out the north. I want to know when or if they come through here. Oh, because that Tie Fighter died and that squad of infantry, we should be able to move in. Hmm, we have two spots open. We can go for an ATT and an, yeah, let's do it. Moving out. All drug acknowledged. Get some APCs out and some stormtroopers and we will rush them forward and we'll try to find like a point to defend. Awaiting orders. Deploying any, any hold points here that make sense? Right away for the Empire. What do we got? Local security. Light vehicles have just moved up. I don't want to lose the time because it's my best Let's make run available. intel. Let's go. All right. Don't need to move you in. Move back here. We'll hold you back for support. Pop this. Bombers standing by. Bombing run deployed. Bombers inbound. Commencing bombing run. Oh, oh. Our artillery and our hopefully new turret are engaging that light vehicle down in the south and all of our infantry. There he goes. Every time we look at this perspective of bombers coming in, we have the fancy bombers because of Vader in orbit. Uh, I think of Rogue Squadron. It's like a Rogue Squadron opening briefing. Have you ever played the original on N64? Uh, they moved their forces. That sucks. We are going to hit the outpost, but it won't be enough to actually take it down. Almost, though. That's not bad. Copy. Commencing attack. How much? You do nothing to light vehicles. Over there. You're more anti-infantry. Oh, Come on in. Anti-infantry turret. How much damage did that do? Nothing. Man, ties are terrible. 
<laughs> They're so bad. Yes, sir. All right, artillery ATSTs. Let's secure right in the middle of their force. Uh, I'm going to have you attack move. We'll follow the walkers in and we'll cut them off. That way, if they push back, they die. Volume of fire. That's the strategy. All right, everybody take cover. Hold your position. I know this is like the worst for you right now, but we do have a turret backing us up. No, keep firing. You're good. If you could hit anything. All right, well, that firefight's going on. Let's load up. Still haven't lost enough troops to get reinforcements. APCs are on the way. We do have a bombardment, though nothing I want to use it on here. Let's... I do not need to send you in. I believe in you guys! There's your tech order! Let me get a scan real quick, and then immediately pause so we can call in orbital support. Uh, their building is so big, I might I might be able. Let's try it. Because I'll stop the reinforcements. That would be nice. How we doing? Well, we are managing to overload the deflectors on those tanks with just enough sheer firepower. If we had pod walkers, this would be a heck of a lot easier. Hey, APCs, how you doing up there? You're doing great. You're doing, you'd probably be doing even better if I wasn't dealing with this nonsense. Let's just move away from it. When the APCs can kill your infantry without issue. How we doing? We're chasing them back. Yeah, don't let them get away. Don't let those infantry get away. That's the key to winning this, is to just kill every one of their deployables. All right, we're moving up. Moving to reinforce. They've got infantry with... Uh, never mind. The Artie has arrived. APCs, let's go. Some troopers are like, don't worry, we've got this. Deploy, deploy, deploy. Hold your position and engage. Walkers, get over here. Uh, this isn't good. I need you to secure both of those defense points. Oh, this will be such a hard planet to take if I can actually get turrets down here. I need you guys in front of these turrets. Buy us time. And I need artillery support over here, like, immediately. Good shot. Yes! Alright, now that we're here, let's get anti-vehicle turrets online, and I'll send one squad back to capture. Yeah, they're really just keeping them busy while the artillery does the actual damage. There it is. I need another round back here on the beach. Incoming. Good hit. One more, please. Thank you. Switch your fire. I know these barely do anything, but they're not even make it. Yeah, they're not arcing over. That was a waste. Ooh, do I want to spend more? I'm really close to an ATSD. I do. I do. I want to have hold points. Get an angle. Yes. Yes, they do. Whoa. What are you? Little medical bots? I don't think I've seen those in a rebel squad before. Unit destroyed. Targeting Oh shit. Fall back, ATS. Fall back. Retreat. Retreat. Regulars, break cover and engage. We have to get the walkers out of here. Come on. Keep running. Keep running. Get out of firing range. All right. We're ready for it. No, we're not ready for the bombing run. We're still pushing forward. So if we had killed that outpost, we wouldn't be dealing with this second wave. I don't know who we just took out, but I'm here for it. All right, reinforcements are ready. Let's send in odds. 
because we need to take a building out. The cannon's big, big enough to do some damage. Come on. There you go. Let's go. Keep going. We're moving. Enemy in range. Press forward. Yes, sir. Destination is acknowledged. Artillery move up. Might want to get our support units over there. Maybe. These are just captures, right? Yeah, no. What is shooting all the way over there? Oh, it's the turret. I like the effort. Okay, bombing run's finally ready. Pop the scan. Call in the bombers. They don't have much left. This should be it. All they got is some defense troops left. Oh, no. There's our bombers. I think this is the second to last planet until the core is secure and we will be able to take. Oh, let me see if I can fix that camera. What I've done is I've rotated too far. Bombers. Nice. Go ahead and get you. The target is in my sights. Last squad. They're suffering heavy losses. If you can get through the security rifleman. What was it? Group two? Pop scan. So they've got a squad here. Always ready, sir. Fire. We've landed shots I'll go ahead and fast forward. That. There's not Good much left. Good Good shooting, men. Squad there. there. Squad like Go way now. in between, somewhere in between. Oh no! Hold Go up. Fire. Affirmative. All you gotta do is kill those infantry and we win. Form up. Moving. Let's roll. That's it. That's the objective. On my way. Kill that one Open squad. Destroy. You don't have to fight. You don't have to fight the whole thing. Open oh, fire. they went inside it. All right. Attack that target. Engage, engage, engage. All right, you guys run. Pick your engines on and run. Okay, re-engage, re-engage, re-engage. You've almost got him, I believe. Podwalker, run. We don't want to lose the whole squad. Oh, run away. There's the squad, but we've almost killed this. Run! Uh, he's got to go. He's got to go. It's so close. I don't know if it's gonna let me do it. I'm trying to. No, he missed. I did call in reinforcements. I don't know why they haven't shown up yet. Yes, Commander. Awaiting orders. Keep going. Await your instructions. All right, all forces have been ordered to to report over here at best speed. Come on, guys. Somebody's gotta have a grenade left. No, our turret. There it is. There it is. Now all we got is the squad left. Our one pod walker has arrived. I don't know. I guess they're not retreating because they're not like a main faction. Normally they'll they'll call it right, but because they're like a sub faction, maybe they just don't want to. All right, let's pop uh, grenades. This should be it. There it is. The planet is ours. Immediately gained 200 credits. We spent more than that by far on turrets, but I think it's worth it. Uh, and yeah, no losses. System conquered. Now, where you sit. Construction complete. I'm not convinced. Yeah, you're not going to be a hold world. I think I'm going to make you a logistical world. Construction. Security personnel ready for deployment. Okay. We are ready to deal with people have been telling me this over and over. They're like, deal with the deal with the credit stealing, deal with the corruption. Uh am I crazy? Did they just time out? Can I not deal with the corruption? For yeah, I think they timed out. That's funny. Well, at least I've got the ISB ready to go. Uh, ISB don't give uh what? Oh, their trading ship is trying to go through Eridus. 
Yeah, that's not gonna happen. He must have been already in route. That's how slow the non-hypers plane routes actually are. He must have been already on the way. All right, we'll begin. Uh, they'll probably retreat right away. If they don't, I will. Let's see what happens. Or I'll fast forward and see if I can kill him. Your command, sir. Find us that YT. Ready for duty. Go ahead, right, V-Wings. Not that you could probably take a YT on your... I mean, there are three squadrons. Three squadrons should be able to do it. Order confirmed. Awaiting orders. Arts. Full throttle. Let's find him. Commander. Copy. Decrease to full throttle. Plotting course. Reporting in. Is he just sitting there? We've got pirates. He's running. Womp womp. All right. Time to build an ISD. I will start the construction of quad drive yards because it should be slightly cheaper. 1,700 credits per. Constructing unit. Our new ISD is on the way. We do have... Ooh. Uh, we do have a probe droid ready to go. Vulpter, you're my last core world planet, right? Yeah, let's just double check that everything is good here. And we'll move Vader and the fleet in. Ooh, they've reinforced this with a Sabbath destroyer. <sighs> wow, look at the ground force, too. They don't have any buildings. Oh, but they have these. They have those stupid trash compactors. <laughs> oh, the IG tech is a thing now. We're going to have to deal with that. A lot of droids. Whoa. We look civilians. A Jawa Sandcrawler. In orbit, they've got an XQ, an XQ3. That's a little horrifying. The Destroyer is a problem. The Destroyer has a tactical pop, I think, higher than an ISD. Ah, uh, so used before and during the Clone Wars. These Destroyers are now on even rarer sight. They can use their stun ions to give them the advantage in battle. In the event that the odds begin to tip against them, they can use their great speed of maneuverability to reposition and take on a more favorable engagement elsewhere. Between, th ah, man, between that and, I've only got two ISDs to engage that with. That's not a lot because of our losses to take one of the core worlds. I think we'll focus on Taposi first. Once again, I am going to leave some ground troops here. Just regs. Vader. Join up with the assault. It shall be done. Construction complete. We're going to have to wait. Construction complete. Yeah, we're going to have to wait. Tactical battle imminent. Oh! That's right! You're the planet with the weird space force. I forgot. No, we have to engage this with the actual ISD fleet, including the new ISD. That's what we were waiting on. I forgot about that. Okay, so let's begin the battle. And then we'll fall back. We'll fall back. We'll wait for the ISD to finish. Uh, what else can I build? Maybe some Mark Quintons? Because there's our ground force in shuttlecrafts, just like waiting. Not the first time he's run from a battle in orbit here. I forgot about that. There was a comment that I should use these weird Star Destroyers as like Shed's flagship because they're weird. They'll always be kind of unique on the battlefield. Let's go ahead and fall back. Retreat in progress. I do think we can win this. I just need a little bit more firepower. I think one more ISD will put it in our favor so we don't lose anything. There's also a comment about the number of um, cannons that it has. Might make it really good for taking out frigates. I'll we'll have to see. What's my time on construction? 
check level advanced. New options available. <laughs> New options available. All right, what do we have to available now? We have... Constructing Get some more probes. We had picked up... Oh, we had picked up technology for what? Uh, ground, right? It was like air, air power. Research. <laughs> Balmora. Who is my tech three construction efforts? This will give us the elite ATAT. This will give us ATST, ATPT. Repairs nearby air units. If a power generator is present, you have to have a power generator to get the repair bonus. Really? Does nobody have the new air unit? Apparently not. I want to have to do other research to get it. All I've got on hand is ties. I'm going to get the medium factory upgrade. Upgrade under construction. Let's get the rocket ATSTs producible. Probe droid is ready. While we build this ISD, I might take the fleet out to like Jeddah and secure it and, and block off north to south access to the galaxy. Vader, come on down here. Profit margins will be large. And we'll start the fight with Vader in the fleet. See what Jetta looks like. We could also check out... Oh, Quad Drive Yards is right next to a rebel planet now. I'll send a probe over to to You're NAB right, and see how that's going. Tech Those tech level jumps, everybody's going up. AT -AT ready. Hey, there's our other ATAT. -AT. Wonderful. Ooh, quad drive yards. How you doing with that um planetary turbo laser? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's nice to see. I almost want to give you a better, uh, a better, hmm, a better space station in orbit, like another Golan platform. You have a Golan too. You're pretty well, you're pretty well defended. Where Alderaan's now making 800 per, because we're mining it. Constructing unit. Let's build a ship there. Actually, give me two. Unit in production. We could use some ion weaponry. Holy crap! Jet is defended by a Kendo Sai? What? We are unprepared. We can take it. We can take it. If I had three ISDs, we could do it. And a few I well, the ion ships aren't gonna do any good because it has no shields. It is nothing but pure armor. Unit. With a bounty hunter. Enemy tech has been upgraded, and they're about to get better space tech. I need to upgrade as well. I gotta stop spending money. Hard to do when you're trying to make inroads. Oh, you're here, you're here. Okay, so this is about to wear off, so let's take a look. They've got a victory. They've got no space station in orbit. They've got a victory, and then on the ground, they've got the independent forces base. They've got Mon Cala civilians everywhere. Yeah, we could take this. Obviously, Vader's not going to be able to make it to Jeddah just yet. Um, at least not until that extra ISD is done. I will take the extra Starfighters. Thank you very much. I'm very tempted to get better Starfighters. Let's do it. Upgrade under construction. Who's fleet lead? You are? Wonderful. Let's, let's head him. 
Upgrade complete. We'll hit him now. And then send the pro back up here. Uh, Naboo. Ooh, they're pushing for Naboo space. Really? Naboo, how you doing? <laughs> really? Like, what was the thinking here? Because there's an entire randomized defense fleet. We have a garrison here. We have a space station. Naboo is not an undefended world. It could be better. Let's see what you got. They're gonna run. There's no way. Ready for action. Like, I'll upgrade even do the progress. upgrade research. Just to make sure it's done next time they start crap. IPV reporting. Reinforcements. The freighters, the combat freighters. Upgrade complete. So what are we getting? Dreadnoughts. We got a victory class. Yeah, I'll take that. Get up here. Let's fast forward. Let's see if they throw themselves against the wall. I will send the ties to find our target. Ready for orders. Yes, Commander. The order is given. Make best speed. Find the target. Destroy it. Yes, sir. Go ahead and get up here. Send the space station. It's got engines. We're gonna Cisco this and lob the space station at them. Awaiting command. Ba -ba. I truly hope when Homeworld 3 drops, they have proper modding tools and modding support for the community. So we start seeing like a new Warlords mod pop up. If you don't know, Warlords was a mod for Homeworld. Um, Homeworld 2, I think. The enemy is approaching. I want to say it was Homeworld 2. Light All units, engage that ship. Ready. The rest of you engage the Naboo Starfighters. Which have switched sides. Bombers, at the ready. Bombers go after the engines. the engines. I don't expect you ties to survive. Ties You're never going to win against N1s because they are just better in every way. I really Let's hoped go. that you would have distracted them a little bit longer than that. But the proton bombs are already away. Uh, I am sending you guys into what is basically a flagship with the ability to intercept your bombs. All I care about is the engines being destroyed. Every ship of the rebellion that we take out. We got no we didn't get it. We didn't get it. We didn't get it. All units engage those engines. Targeting. No, no way. Five second retreat timer on the Rebel Alliance. And I don't have access to interdiction technology yet. Ah oh, well. The tie bombers couldn't get the job done. Shocking. But they have shown that they're willing to engage this planet. I can't justify pulling you off of there. He's in a frigate. 10% combat bonus to all frigates. You're considered a frigate, right? So I could put a group of ions, our Quintons together with him. Dreadnoughts would be cruisers, yeah and give them a 10% boost. Hmm. All right, we'll hold. We'll hold on that. There are better places to spend that money. All right, fleet's about to arrive. Tactical battle. Securing more of the hyper lane heading eastward this time. Right now, it's targets of opportunity. I didn't expect there to be a Kendo Sai over Jakku. What is that? Were they... It, I th no, they must have always been there, right? Because it's like an ancient city. I think they were orange, so I think they were a neutral party. What is it, General? Move your ISD forward and find us the target. Deploy the fleet so that nothing gets off. Send the interceptors. As you wish, my lord. I'm gonna be able to build interceptors soon because we're working on fighter technology. Choose your reinforcements. The, the better ties. There is a mod author named Ininra who's hung out in Armco for ages now and is working on a really, really detailed, gorgeous model. A high quality mod author. 
for uh, TIE Fighters, already made the X-Wing mod for Space Engineers, is working on a TIE Fighter one, and has talked about making a spawner. So basically, we might have an Imperial faction in Space Engineers, where you'll find, like, patrols and various Imperial units. Kind of like if you've ever watched uh, any of the SE series that we've done over the years Boy, with... Sure. Um, with the uh reapers not the reapers the reavers the reaver mod exactly like kind of like that uh they'll probably have their own behavioral um objectives and stuff but still very cool like you're playing se and then you look up orbit of the planet and you see like an acclimator you know with ties coming out of it how cool would that be in your survival playthrough have it like a themed one all right bring in another isd and then the entire victory class Support. Fire on the Get another piece of artillery. Remember, engines. We don't want them escaping. Not that they're going to have a chance because we're just completely annihilating that transport. I told you to target the engines. Uh, you did it through the, through the bow. <laughs> All of you press forward except for the starfighters. Go ahead and engage. You two, oh, help those type bombers out. Brutes. Raxus Prime, Aston, and now Hutta's manufacturers. Wait, does that mean I can build Thai Brute squadrons in those locations? Interesting. Wait, the turret rotates on the Thai Brute? I swear, I, yeah, it moves. I didn't know that was a turret. Sort of, like a rotating weapon system. Huh. Vader, just go through it. Just go through it. You're fine. They do have a victory class. I'd rather that not escape. Target the engines. Give them the salvo. The peered number of missiles right now. My players in our tabletop game have now dropped out of hyperspace over Ilum of all places. And if you're aware of the, the canon timeline right now for Ilum, the Empire has begun in the time period that our game is set. It is, we're just a few years before the Death Star is destroyed. So the Empire is heavily, 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 uh, actually we're like one year before it, um, heavily mining. There she goes, Ilum. Right, well they're, done, they're, they're mining the planet for kyber crystals for the Death Star. Is one of the resource, one of their places where they're getting those kyber crystals from. And the players didn't know that. So when they dropped out of hyperspace, what they find themselves in is a giant battle. And they have to make a choice now because they're getting distress calls from the Empire uh, oh, and from civilians on a bunch of different channels. And they know that there's at least a one civilian outpost that is currently under attack by this unknown force. Uh, which is a whole plot in and of itself, but there's, they're in the first massive, like, fleet battle, right, of a scale of which they've never seen. And every round, they get deeper into the fight. Imagine, like, dropping out of hyperspace right in the middle of, uh, dropping in, the, like, teleporting in the middle of D-Day, right? That's what's happening right now. They're in the middle of the beach, and either they push forward to save the civilians, or they run. And I don't know what they're going to do. It's one of the funnest things about being a GM. I don't know what the story's going to do. I don't know where it's going to end up. They could go and save them. They could just bail. Uh, ah, good times. Good times. And they actually, for the first time, have the assets to actually evacuate a civilian population of the size that, you know, may be there. Very cool. All right. So we've managed to successfully um, take the orbit of Tanab. I'd love to know what is here. Uh, what is this world? What's your description? Lantilles is a world I'm unaware of. Uh, it was a planet in the Lantilles system and the sector capital of the Lantillian sector in the mid-rim. Located along the Perlemian trade route and at the head of the Randon Run, the Lantilles was heavily involved in the shipping and shipbuilding industry and its human natives were well known for their emphasis on reliability over elegance. Oh, I like that. Kind of paints a picture of what um, reliability over elegance. That kind of gives me like the industrial vibe of Deserts of Carrick. That like reliability. It's got to work in any condition. Doesn't have to look pretty. 
I wonder what's there. Let's send a probe droid. Orlag's got another probe droid for me. I'll build a few more as well. We're 8% on our fighter research. Probe droid sent. Oh, so there are a lot of neutral worlds that are slowly just being consumed by the various factions. We have Black Sun north of us now. Very well dug in. I think I might let Jetta get taken by another faction and then take it from them because they'd have to kill that Kendo Sai. And those are kind of a pain. All right, probe drives in the way. Probe droids on the way, and... Hey, Chandrilla, is there anything else I can do to you to make more money? Beginning construction. Probably get some trade stations in orbit, I'd imagine. Because that's pulling in 462 right now. We can make that better. Our ground forces are loaded. We'll move them in for the ground invasion. As you wish. As you wish. Ooh, we can take the Roche asteroid belt, too. That means we should be near Hape Space. Oh, the Hapes. The Hapes are only three worlds? I assume they own Terraform. We just can't see it. Yeah, ground bases are not detectable on this world, so we don't know what they own. Hmm. There was a comment from last week's episode where it was like, you should take the, sub the, the smaller factions out before they awaken. And well, I get what you're saying. I don't really want to start those fights and... <sighs> They've got battle dragons. Like they're they're not un they're not poorly equipped to start off. There's a reason why they're hard to take and that they survive even the the AI's engagements. Like the AI doesn't even try half the time. Because there are better planets to take over. Oh, really? You've got an HAET. Direct artillery gunship. In other words, gigantic cannon tank. But that's all they've got. We could take this. Their orbital force is three arcs and a and an interceptor frigate. Not really a big deal. And then our only backline threat would be the hapes behind us. But the Antilles has a three slot. Um, we could dig in here much easier. With four planetary spots, yeah, we could dig in here and and we could pick up our dreadnought and one of our Gazantes. Yeah, free units. And if we can knock over this ship, um, we could pick up our our couple of. Is that the only units? Yeah, it's the only units. But we at least hook up with that group. A little little defense group right here. All right, we'll wrap up the episode here. We're taking over. Like, I didn't really plan it, but we're kind of taking over this hyperlane. If we can take Bogan, we'll be four jumps into this hyperlane. If we can take Tanab and Lentilles, we'll be four more jumps into like we'll be properly in the mid rim. Heading to the uh, to the expanse regions, like getting out there. Roche might be held by the Hapes, but I doubt it. Oh, we'll be connected to Kashyyyk, which I bet we can mine the hell out of. Moth Palace can. Oh, we know we can put a Moth Palace on it. Ah, uh, take Kashyyyk and drop a Moth Palace on it. So we get another moth and we get a bunch more income. That could be useful. All right, let me know in the comments what you all think. Thank you for joining me so much. I will see you all in the next one. Later, everybody.